Hey my loves, how are you? It's like a chill day today, you know? It's chilled, I'm chilled, my locks are chilled. They are so chilled. So, this is another round of discussion and I'm on chill mode. It's it's the rain, I love the rain. It's, it just um, calms me relaxes me but I wanted to do another um, discussion and um, I know each week is going to be something different but you know how I start my videos I always start them um, with love in the middle love at the end love and it, it it's not for everyone and if it does not resonate with you, that's fine. And if it does resonate with you, that's fine. But um, I want to do a video of um, how I came into my unique abilities and how I knew I was, um, I want to say different, like at a, at a younger age, I knew. So... I don't know my sister um hey boo I don't know I don't know if my sister knows I know sweetie I know I know boo I am um, my lovely my lovely queen you know I've been working on my matrix job you know <laughs> and you know when I'm home I get to one of your shows so quick so you know you know me, I always get to your shows really quick. So I do want to talk about how I got into my psychic abilities. Now my sister might not know this story. And if she does, <laughs> I can't remember if I told her. But we were maybe about seven, eight, nine. And we were young, like we were young. And um, she always, she was older than me, so she would put posters on the wall. And um, one day, I was in the room by myself. I was little, you know, I was just elementary school, young little thing. And I was, I just so happened to, I was looking at the posters. And the posters started speaking to me. Like, so the posters was moving their mouth and I was just like what and you know you know your little thing I was like what I can't hear you and the posters was just saying and you could not can hear them and I went up closely just to see if I was really seeing like am I really seeing these posters talking to me so I actually um went up to the posters and they were just still talking to me and I kept on saying, okay, I, I, I don't understand what you're saying. I can't hear you. I never once was scared. Never once told my mom. I was just so frustrated that I couldn't hear these posters. And I was young. So I wound up just snatching the posters down from the wall. Because I was like, I can't hear you. And they were all talking at the same time. And then when my sister walked into the room, um, I don't know if she remember this because I remember her saying something about, why is my posters on the floor? What happened? And I just like, I don't know. And I walked out the room. <laughs> and I just walked out the room. And, but, the, but some people were saying that the house that we were living in at that time was quote unquote haunted or they had spirits but I actually connected with the spirits if they did have spirits I did connect it with the spirits I was not scared I was just like I couldn't hear them and I never really like told my sister I never told my mom I never said anything and I just went on with my life went on with my business and I think because I was so little I was so young it just didn't scare me but I kind of you know as I was as I was feeling 
like I was seeing them or I can hear them, but I wasn't scared, but I never told anybody. And maybe because when you're young, I mean, you're a young child, people, get, you know, might think, oh, okay, yeah, you're seeing things or you're making things up or, you know, you're crazy. But, you know, that was like my first encounter when I came um, into coming into knowing my abilities or spirits. And as I got older, um, I can always felt energy. I always kind of feel like, why am I feeling this way? And I knew it wasn't my energy. That's how I felt. That was an empath. Um, as I got into my spirituality, as I got into my transformation, that's how I discovered that I was an empath. And um, I had discovered crystals and all that good stuff to... Um, to protect my energy because at one point of my life um you can feel when somebody is taking your energy like taking the, all your energy out your breath like and and when i realized that i had to protect my energy and i started doing um protection rituals protection um um, affirmations just learning how to protect me protect my energy because I was in I was such an empath and and that's why I kept on saying why am I kept feeling this and so as I this is gonna be a short video guys because I'm so chilled <laughs> as I continue um, on my um, spiritual journey and my transformation I um, I did a lot of meditation and um, doing a lot of meditation and actually balancing my um, myself and coming into the divine and the universe. I just discovered, you know, that I was opening up my psychic abilities that I already had. So when I um, when I started realizing that I can talk to um, the, the past, like, like people who passed over, who crossed over, like they would give me messages. And um, first I kept on saying, oh my gosh. Like I, I, I didn't understand it. I was like, why am I feeling this? Or why am I getting these messages? Or I did not know what it was. and until I started asking my spirit guides, I'm like, what is this? What is the message? And I think when I had to give a particular message to one of my dear soul sisters and um, from um, her loved one, her, her, her husband and, and her loved one, and when I received the message, I did not know what it meant. And then it, and I did not come on saying, okay, I actually received this message. And it took me a couple of days to actually um, really, really hear it and understand it. Like, okay. So when I finally, when it finally, finally came in and it finally, finally was like resonating, he finally, finally like said what he said and I had to deliver the message. I realized like wow I can you know um, be connected with people loved ones that are deceased because their spirit is around you know I mean of course your physical um, body is gone your vessel is gone but your spirit is around so when I started connecting and I was like, oh my God, is this mediumship? Or, you know, just being a medium. And I started connecting with Prince. I um, started connecting with my grandmother. I started connecting and having different, just different psychic abilities that, um, information that, like messages that I received that I had to give. And um, I, what I can say about that, that is a gift from the universe. I would not trade this gift 
for nothing. And it's like when people, other people who, if you was to have this gift, some people might not like it. Some people be scared, but I'm, I'm not scared. You know, I really think it's, it's just such a wonderful gift. And knowing that I can see spirits in <clears throat> the thing that wowed me maybe like a couple of weeks ago is that I actually saw, um, it was just a little boy spirit jumping in in people's bodies, you know, but was having fun, but, and it was very playful, but it, it wasn't like nothing um, bad or anything, but when you can actually see somebody's spirit go into different people's bodies, you're just like, whoa, wow, you know, and I just sent that boy love. I just sent him love. I just like love and light, ashe, namaste. I just sent him a lot of love. And trust and believe my human vessels. The spirits are out here. And they are jumping in and out of people's bodies because they um you got some soulless beings out here, some soulless spirits, and they are just ready you know for you so if you don't believe that it's a spiritual attack or a spiritual warfare trust and believe it is it really is and i think um that's why you always just had to protect yourself always you know don't be in a low level energy just always have love um a lot of love in your heart it's just stay grounded balanced and a lot of love because it's a lot of soulless spirits out there. But anyway, um, I'm just grateful for the gift. And I want to just thank the universe. Thank God. Um, the higher power for my gift. And I'm not scared of it at all. And I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful. And I just came into my spirituality. And I'm grateful for this journey. And I'm I'm just straight gratitude. But I wanted to just, you know, um, say a little bit about myself and how I came into my psychic abilities and how, you know, I can, um, when I'm really, 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 really in the highest frequency, I can connect to, you know, some dimensions in which... It's really cool, which is which is really cool. And that's why I always stay grounded. And that's why sometimes I have to go to the movies and watch a movie because y'all know I don't watch TV. <laughs> so I don't watch TV, but to for me to stay grounded, I I sometimes hop in a movie, watch a movie, or might go to the movies because since I don't um I don't watch TV, you know, and I haven't seen a Ravens game yet. <laughs> I said I was, but I haven't popped on. I, I haven't turned on the television in um, technically almost two, about two years. So, but I see everything like off of YouTube and um, social media. So you do know what's out or playing because you do see um, stuff on YouTube and social media or well, my daughters would tell me what's going on or what's playing or what's what because I don't watch TV so um, anyway I just want to say I love you guys I have to stay grounded I might do one more video before 2020 before this end of the year is out this 2019 this 2019 I this was a good year this 2019 was a good year and I'm just grateful that I have learned a lot of lessons. It taught me a lot of stuff. It made me grow. I Oh my God, I have so much growth. So much, so much growth. And Miss Beautiful Martu Evans and Bunati Boom, you know your next show I was trying to get to this whole month. Um, I think I, I, I just been working on weekends, but you know, I will get because I got to buy some stuff. You know, I got to buy some stuff. I'm ready to buy some stuff. So I would definitely 
be getting to your shows and I want to say thank you guys for tuning in thank you you guys for each and everybody who has been a part of my life in my life journey whether you of course my phone rung whether you're a friend um you know anybody friends families loved ones ex loved ones anybody Thank you for being in my life, in this life journey, in this earth plane at this time. Because I have learned so, 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 so much. I have learned so much. And I learned a lot of lessons. And I'm grateful. And at the end of the day, all the lessons and everything that I've learned and all the hurt, it came to self-love. At the end of the day, I had to know my self-worth. I had to know myself in love. I had to know that I am a queen. Point blank. A queen. A goddess. An empress. And I'm on my throne. And I want to say I'm grateful for everyone. And please have a blissful, abundance, prosperous end of the year. And the beginning of the new year 2020. And I will talk to you guys soon. If I make another one more video. But thank you guys. I love you so much. And take care. And if you just tuning into this video. Hey you can rewind and watch it again. And again. And again. So I love you guys. Take care. Love you. Talk later. Have a wonderful wonderful 2019. Into the 2020.